Would you call him a scammer? I can call him a scammer, yeah. I think Usman low-key played the f out of my mom. I am not scamming him by it seems Jamal Menzies is really, really, really upset at Usman because he says, and I quote, Loki played the F out of my mom with Usman retorting that he's not a scammer. But wait, it's not only Jamal that has a problem with Usman, it seems Lisa Ham, aka baby girl Lisa, also has a problem and thinks Usman is a scammer. So it seems she was watching the tell all part one and now part two and part two did get pretty heated. Also part one was pretty heated, but what is it going to be? Is it going to be worse part three and maybe even more so part four? Who knows? We will tune in then. But alas, Big Ed demanded that Liz, Liz Elizabeth return the ring because they've broken up for what the 11th time now and that's not the only breakup kim menzies kimberly menzies kimbali and soldier boy umar are just friends these days with kimbali maybe saying they could be fwb <laughs> well it seems the teasers are promising a lot because usman receives call outs of some sort uh, as a con man, people are calling him out, especially his ex-wife Lisa, putting him on blast. Where uh, the part two, of course, is focused heavily on Big Ed and Liz, Andrea and Libby, Angela and Michael. But you know, it appears part three is gonna delve into Kimberly and Usman's relationship. The two are now exes; they're on friendly terms. Ha ha ha. Kimberly has joked that she is open to being friends with benefits, like I just said. But it doesn't seem like it's going to be that feasible because they live between a vast and expanding ocean. I mean, they live on separate continents, right? So how is that going to work? So the promo at the end of part two, that tease part three, we see Jamal Menzies being straight up. He's being real. So remember, Jamal is Kimberly's son people call him a smoke show a hottie remember he was dating you know who veronica but um that didn't work out because it seems she has a new man so jamal menzies kim's son is a fan favorite after all not just for his looks but for his um his outlook on life and other things i mean he did get some flack for the single life season three tell all but that's in the past and he is a beacon of common sense and he is patient with what will be considered a very eccentric mother that goes to another continent to date a man called Soja Boy. So the previous show, Jamal saying once again to Usman that he has, and I quote, low-key played the F out of my mom and once again, Soldier Boy is saying he is not a scammer. And Jamal is not the only person on the tell all stage to say so. Remember that Andre was straight up calling Usman a scammer as well. And we can see others wanting and willing to weigh in. Angela has famously loathed Usman because, you know, the whole scammer title she thinks is because of Usman and not because of Michael. Really? Really, Angela? Really? Okay, alright. You know what? I'm not even going to get into that. And who knows what will spew out of Big Ed's mouth come Tell All Part 3. But take into Instagram Usman ex-wife Lisa Ham, who has since remarried and goes by Lisa Robinson now, weighed in. She mocked Usman writing that Jamal, Ed, and others nailed it. And she set the Instagram post to a song, Big Scammer by Vakash. Lisa went on to claim that, and I quote, Scammer Soda Boy, karma is being served to you at the moment. Then an additional post mocked Usman while again calling her ex a scammer. Lisa asked, and I quote, how are these two going to laugh at Libby? At least she doesn't auto-tune unlike this fool. Hmm, them fighting words, Lisa. On the other hand, many people have questions about the company that Usman tends to seek and keep between Kimberly, Lisa, and the infamous Zara. Usman seems to have a predilection for 
American woman, or so it seems. In the cases of Kimberly, his now ex fiance and Lisa, his ex-wife, he specifically seems to go for older white women with unorthodox approaches to life, if you want to call it that. But that said, we are not equating Kimberly's obvious eccentricities to Lisa. I mean, Lisa's racism and homophobia scandals, which included the use of slurs on social media and in her marriage, are quite appalling. But Alas, as for Usman, we don't know exactly what his deal is, like he said about the show that it's just entertainment and people shouldn't take it so seriously because there's a lot of things that are um, put towards an audience that may or may not be true, and I totally can understand that. Furthermore, he has never shown any real eagerness to move to the United States. I mean... He's a star worldwide, right? But it seems he's known in Nigeria. Even though people have said they haven't even heard of him in Nigeria. But you know, he always uh, takes offense to that. Many people believe that he pursues reality TV to boost his music career. No, duh. That's exactly what he's doing. That could be the case. We don't know if it's really working for him or ever. Because if you remember, he was making most a lot of his money on what was that site cameo he was making quite a bit of money in cameo not so much from the music career but the whole cameo stuff was affording him a nice new vehicle a home and other things if you know what i mean i don't look for trouble but if you come for me for trouble i want to give it to you you know don't talk too loud like that my husband will whip your ass if he wants to stay married where's this one this one Where's, where's this one? Furthermore, what the hell is this? What? Michael wants to fight Usman over Angela Deem? What? Okay. I mean, Angela mouthing off, talking about, oh, Michael can, uh, in some sense of words, put a whooping, a licking to Usman. I don't know about that. I, I don't know. Usman looks like he can handle himself is all I'm going to say. But seriously, Angela, you, you want to have these two Nigerian men fight each other because that's a good look, right? Because already people are equating Nigerian men to scammers and now you're egging on your husband that just got caught cheating on you to beat up Soldier Boy as if he could, as if he would. Maybe Usman wishes he would if he could, but I don't think he would because he shouldn't, even though he could. I don't know. Anyways, it's not a good look. I mean, don't be hyping anybody up to be fighting another cast member, etc, etc, etc. I mean, it's Anjali Deem after all, right? So come on, I don't expect anything more or less from her, if you know what I mean. But we shall see how these two men resolve the issue. We're not sure what Michael's going to do. But Michael is uh, looking for Soldier Boy Usman in that clip. And if he keeps looking long enough, he's going to find Usman. And we're going to see if they're going to talk it out. Either with words or something else. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Anyways, we shall wait for the tell-all part 3. A lot of mess happens between Kimbali, or should I say Kimbali's son, Jamal, and Usman, between Michael and Usman, and what erupts between Liz and Big Ed, I guess. Anyways, Lisa Ham keeps posting on her Instagram about Usman, even though she's married to somebody else with the new name Robinson. You know what? Smash that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'll talk to all you lovely people later, and I'll be back for more content.